Well, hello everybody, Simulation for the Nation back with you again from Clarkson Farm and back with you on the Clarkson Farm Challenge. You'll see today we're out into some grass here. It is day two of September, which is great. Uh, we've done a few contracts, a few things have changed since we last spoke with you uh, in just yesterday's video. We fixed uh, the map so we can now sell our sorghum uh, and our oats if we do ever have any. Uh, but we haven't sold those yet. We still at the moment, as we have a quick look into our, our, our main menu, we still have around 60,000 liters uh, to sell, uh, which is great. The value's not quite there at the moment, so if we can hold on to them into the later months, that would be superb. We're taking contracts on board at the moment. Uh, we've done a few fertilizing gigs, which has been great for us. Uh, and what we were able to do, we actually had a lot more money than this. We've actually, as you can see, upgraded the John Deere. It now has GPS capabilities and Perhaps more crucially, it now has the ability to uh, have a total of about 215 horsepower. It has been boosted, which is great. Uh, and so today, uh, we're getting up for a little bit of grass. Now, this is a field that we own. This is field 10, uh, just over the back of uh, the yard, really. We're going to mow down this field. We're also going to get cracking. Uh, we've mown a field, uh, which one is that? Field 8 as well. We have a few small little fields knocked down. So that we with the intention of us eventually being able to get stuck on into those uh, as well but what we're going to do today we're going to mow this field down uh, which shouldn't take us all too long or with that being said actually it's not the biggest in the world but nice field to get into there lovely looking paddocks all around the place uh, we of course we own a rake as well so we can get this one raked up ready to go and then we're going to take a contract on we're going to do the same with those perhaps on the video perhaps in the live stream coming later today uh, where we'll be able to really get after that and then lease in a baler wrapper combo uh, the contract should pay for that and a bit actually so we should be looking good there and then we'll be able to get this all done and dusted so that is the plan what i'm going to do right now is turn on our gps we put our a line in there and then in just a second here we'll put our b and then we'll make sure that that is all looking good so what i'm going to do is go into here order within We'll figure out that in just a moment. But yeah, that's that's the plan. Uh, we've been, like I say, we've done a lot of different contracts so far. We haven't done any cultivation yet. They are going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, they are fairly large fields, so I'm not too keen on jumping in onto those just yet. Uh, now, of course, our economy is set to hard. So we, despite the fact that, yes, we are going to uh, be able to start to receive money for our sorghum, we're not receiving a lot. It's about £300 a tonne. Uh, which in modern day markets there, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd probably settle for that straight away uh, in real life. But on farms in there, if you start on the base model, it's about double that. If you start on, uh, on normal economy, and if you go on easy, well, it's about a thousand. So you can see the difference. But I'm happy with the idea of it. I want you, uh, at least we can sell it now. That's the main thing. Uh, we're going to wait to do the sorghum until day three in the... Uh, in our game be, uh, because when we lease that combine we're going to have to keep it overnight we'll have to finish the sorghum field and then we're going to have to start our soybeans as well which are going to be in field number six so we don't want to have to release uh, a combine for a third day there it's probably going to be quick quicker and indeed cheaper just to uh, hire it that one time pay the costs overnight but uh, it should only take us a few hours to finish off that field because we've taken a, a chunk of it off there so we, we're looking pretty good i'm happy with that uh, but yeah, we will see. Uh, thinking about what we can do with some of these smaller fields, I drove past them the other day, kind of 27 or 26, 27, 28. They are very small paddocks. I don't think, I mean, you're going to spend most of the time, even with this mower, which is not the biggest, you're going to spend most of your time uh, going around circles. So, got a few ideas as to what we could do to, uh, to aid that. But that is something that we, we can't really afford to look into now anyway, so we'll hold off on that idea and we'll... Uh, we'll uh, you know, we'll, once we get it probably into the new year, we've sold a few things off there, we've taken a few more contracts on, that's exactly when we'll look to really jump onto that idea. Uh, but as it is right now, yeah, we're, uh, we're making some good progress. Really, really are quite happy with everything. Let me know how you're doing as well. Um, a lot of people have got stuck on the intercoms and so far, it seems like and they're really starting to enjoy it as well. So let me know if you're one of those. Uh, you know, which farm did you start with? Which fields do you have? Are you doing the Clarkson Farm Challenge? Uh, and if you are, do you have any other rules you'd like us to consider? Because I'm always up for uh, making it a bit more of a challenge where possible. 
We should still see quite a fair return of bales from here, actually. Certainly hoping so. Uh, but yeah, well, this is uh, the biggest grass field that we have. Whether or not it stays in grass rem remains to be seen. But I, I see no reason for it not to right now. Uh, and then, like I say, we own the rake. What I think we'll do is we might have to get some like the fast bale on, on loan. Uh, we can only hire one bit of equipment at a time, don't forget. So when we need to make sure all of our silence work is done, we return the baler or whatever we do uh, higher so that we can then uh, lease the combine. Uh, so that's the way we need to do it. Now, of course, the combine, the header trailer and the header are all classed as one. So that's, that's not an issue. Yeah, it's got to be something you have to think about there, really. But with that being said, we're flying. We're absolutely flying. John Deere just got a clean off as well. It's looking resplendent. Really, really is. And I think, yeah, we'll be keeping hold of this for a while. I've said that. But, you know, it's, it's looking great. With that extra power that we've added, we can strap a weight onto the front of it and comfortably pull a, a bigger plow. Uh, maybe something a bit heavier there as well. I was looking and I've been speaking to a few people who have already plowed over field three and it took them quite a while. So we want to be, want to be on top of that. Field 3 is the biggest piece of ground that we have, but that being said, I still don't want to spend all day stuck in it. But yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. Like I say, we will be coming back with our stream tomorrow. Uh, do come and join us there. It'll probably be around 7pm Eastern. Or 7pm GMT, 2pm Eastern is when we'll be going for it. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Uh, we'll put up a, a little uh, scheduled... Uh, live stream start for that one be great to see you all in there bring any thoughts along you have I keep seeing a lot of little details on this map as I drive around which just makes it really enjoyable to, to be in here to be honest now that is a deceptively big field there okay so what we'll do we're just going to push through and do a little bit more of this here see how it's all coming together it might even time lapse it up uh, and then we'll see what it looks like the next step they'll have to get the rake but then I think before we do that We'll, uh, we'll decide which contracts we're going to take on next and what that will entail for us here as well. Well, we'll need to try a little bit harder to get the GPS work in there, but that is no big shake there. It's just mowing grass. I don't mind doing that without. And uh, we're just using the old uh, hood marker there and a tree. That's the way we'll do it. Whether or not it's good identically square, I don't know, but it's good enough for us to get going here. Uh, we'll get this, uh, make short work of this little bit of paddock that's left now, and then we can crack along really and see uh, what else we're going to be doing. Uh, so our plan, like I say, we want to make a little bit more money where we can here. The silage that we make from these fields, we're going to keep with the view to at some point get some animals. Uh, we will need to try and get some revenue somewhere. So that's going to involve contracts where possible. Obviously, a little bit of income from our from the uh, cereal crops. But that's not going to quite stretch too far. So we'll have to get something else somewhere else. And I think, like I say, uh, doing some silage contracts there will be optimum for that. So we'll definitely look to try and take that on board where we can this is not quite as straight as i'd hoped uh, and then moving on from there well we'll be back under the fertilizer gigs as well so uh, the aim is that we want to be able to start drilling fairly quickly as well so we do need to pick up a drill uh we've got a cultivator obviously uh but we'll have to see about anything else we may not aim for the biggest or the best yield straight away but we'll have to see uh we're going to keep an eye on the all of the various different opportunities there for our own 
um, machinery purchasing. So if there's any used markets coming in, of course, we'll jump on that uh, right now. They're just not there, uh, which doesn't surprise me all that much, really. Um, hopefully we'll see those coming through. Let's just drop that speed down ever so slightly. There you go. Perfect. Better. And then, yeah, we will be able to kind of develop on there and kick on. So we're, we've made quite a bit of money off contracts so far. That will be the way that we're going to have to go. Uh, and hopefully we'll start to expand our equipment so we can take on other contracts as well. Because like I said in the rules, you can't uh, take on any contracts that you don't already own the equipment for. So it makes it a little bit more of a curveball. Uh, but with that being said, it's a nice little challenge anyway. And we will see how we get on. Uh, this field is like, when you get stuck into it, it's bigger than I th you, you remember really. Oh, I certainly find it is. Uh, but yeah, just a few little sections left here, and then we'll all be all be done. And then onwards there. Uh, like I say, we'll probably end up getting the fast bailer or something. Let's have a look to see what that's going to look like for us now. Uh, come on into here. Nothing really that we can use there. I'd love to see these disappearing. You know, maybe a bailer or something coming there, but never mind. Uh, coming down to our bailers. Uh, you know, obviously something like this, if we were going to just look into the option for a baler would be great, but then we'd have to lease a wrapper as well. Uh, so something like one of these, while it's not exactly cheap, what would be the least cost on this guy? Still four grand, you know, that's not too bad. Now, do I have the fast bail here as well? No, yes I do. Lease on that guy would be five grand there, so that's interesting. Uh, whereas if we were to lease this could afford to buy that outright but that's gonna be one so yeah a few different options to think about there and then obviously we need some form of wrapper as well but let's have a look see hmm and these bail wrappers are not cheap either so then that would be an additional cost there that we'd have to think about too uh so you know there's plenty of different options there for us to, to review uh so you have to have a think about that one uh if we have a look through our contracts though whilst we are here field 17 is a rather large field field one to plow that is field one's gonna be huge uh field one wow it's gonna take hours to plow uh so there's a few options for for some drilling as well fertilizer gig we may well end up looking to take that one uh, you just can't really turn that down but then 22 and field seven uh 22 and I think seven is over this way somewhere. Seven, right next to where we want to be with the rake. So we might just start by taking on seven. I'm going to accept. Um, and then, yes, we will be able to complete that once we lease our baler in as well, which would be great. So that will allow us to uh, yeah, get a little bit more money coming through. Pay off for the, the lease of the baler or the purchase of the baler, depending on which way we end up taking it. Uh, yeah, we'll be looking, we'll be looking good. Oh, we made a bit of a mistake there. Let's just take that bit back. Well, all right then. So really, that is going to be our plan for the for most of the rest of the day, really. Uh, on with the silage there. A little bit of a late cut here. But, you know, it's better late than never to get it all in. And if worst case comes uh, around and we don't end up getting any uh, animals in over the winter months, you know, we can always sell these bales if we have to. I'm not opposed to doing that. I'd rather not. It needs must sometimes. So we shall very much see. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, don't forget to leave them down below. If you would like to see more of us here on Clarkson Farm for the Clarkson Farm Challenge, then do come and join us in the live stream later on today. It'll be on Sunday at time of recording. Uh, and we will uh, we will see you there. Uh, if you would like to join this, though, the uh, rules for the challenge are in the description, of course. And you can get stuck on in there. And we shall uh, keep those updated there with any new additions as and when we go through. Until next time, no, I think we'll leave this here. And we shall get cracking and get ourselves prepared for the live stream coming up. Until next time, folks, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any of yet to do so, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll see you all in the live stream. Until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we'll catch you later.